Okay, I agree with your last statement. It should have never gotten this far. Um, tell me what you're thinking right now. I'm just frustrated. I'm scared. It hurts my heart. I had to tell my son why I'm gonna be here. That I'm being cyberbullied. I should be telling my nine-year-old about some mess like this. I'm frustrated, I'm angry, I'm tired of this. I want this to be over with my name clip. She put a hit on my back like she's a hitman or something. But you took it public. You went to local news. I waited and... two months before I did anything public. But then you went public. And I yes, because I was trying to get a response. I'm trying to communicate. I filed better business bureau complaints. She didn't answer. I mailed certified letters. They came back as unknown address. What, what do you say about that? That's absolute, an absolute lie. After reviewing her file, which, to note, I have never had to email another instructor over anything. So after reviewing her file, it was apparent that she had to be revoked. The next week, she emailed every single studio that Vixen has ever stepped foot in, saying that if they continue to do business with me or anyone associated with me, that they're going to be brought into this whole legal lawsuit, that the FBI was investigating me, and if they continue to do business or any of my instructors, that they will be part of the FBI investigation. Did, did you do that? She emailed every single studio of I every single the studio. instructor. You contacted the studios. I contacted the studios, and I sent the copy of one of the many mm -hmm. complaints I filed and said that there may be an investigation. You brought all the studios into it with what you call complaints. You, you do that, and then when those people start being critical of you, then you say you're, you're being cyber-bullied. Well, I sent messages to the studio. She went into specific details to the instructors by giving them my name, you know, address, it's their pla it's as their well place as details. Of business. You don't own them. Well, you're not a pimp. The Vixen Army is the name that Janet Jones gives to all the members of the fitness classes. So that's like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers and fans. Janet misleads people and uses people and is willing to do whatever it takes to make a dollar. And she's using her fans to make a quick buck. I believe the Vixen Army is coming after me. Janet used her influence on her fans and followers to verbally attack me. Somebody needs to pay because it's, it's, it's just a serious situation. Well, from fighting about stretchy pants, disco balls, and tank tops to showing up armed with a weapon for a workout, I think it's safe to say Janet and her former instructor, Nikki, not going to be sharing a post-workout smoothie anytime soon. <laughs> Certified Vixen instructor Michaela says she became the target of Nikki's wrath after she took Vixen's side in this dispute. Take a look. I'm a proud member of the Vixen Army. The Vixen Army doesn't care about Nikki. I think that she's a complete coward. Nikki reached out to me after I got certified as an instructor with the Vixen workout. She said that she had studios lined up in Atlanta that needed a Vixen instructor, and she asked if I'd be willing to teach for her. I agreed to teach for her on a scheduled basis. I actually only taught one class for her. The next thing I knew, I had a woman show up to my class, and she was like, hey, you know, I bought classes online for the Vixen workout. Nikki was actually online selling class packages in Atlanta when she didn't even live or teach there. So I had students come into my studio with a five class package that they had purchased from her. I ended up teaching these people for free. When I tried to reach out to Nikki, try to figure out what was going on, she just never responded to my calls or emails. So Nikki was scamming Vixen workout clients, she was scamming instructors, and she was scamming the brand in general. I actually received an email with her threatening to sue me if I didn't call her and join her campaign to take down Vixen. Nikki posted my home address, including apartment number, on a Facebook bashing page for Vixen workout instructors. And she's not the victim because she's been the one terrorizing other people. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, she posted your home address? Yes. Did you do that? Yes, I posted a page above all the cyber bullies that wrote something nasty and derogatory about me, as well as where to find them and information. Only information that was listed on that page was information from their either social media page, their website, or somewhere online. But you, you put her address? You got my address from a check that you wrote me, so... Yeah, I got... I found that information online. Hey, if you liked that video, click subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications. You will not want to miss what I've got coming up.